So I've got lots of videos on how to clean your filters and you should be rinsing your filters every three weeks or so in a kitchen sink, maybe with a sprayer and some hot water. And you should be doing a deep clean of your filters every three months or so. I have videos that cover those things. And if you aren't familiar with how to do both of those things, I'm gonna link to those videos down below in the description so you can check them out. But in this video, it's actually time to replace my hot tub filters. And I always say, replace your hot tub filters about every one to two years. That's a wide range. So today in this video, I wanna show you what to look for so that you know when it's time to replace them because there are some things that you can do that can extend the life of your filters and they're expensive. So it is good to know what those things are. Hi, I'm Jeff Campbell from Hot Tub Owner HQ and I'm glad you're here with me. So I've got two filters in my hot tub. I've got this one and I've got this one which nests inside of the other. And it is indeed time to replace them. So I wanna show you what my filters look like. I do a pretty good job of staying on top of the maintenance, the rinsing and the deep cleaning. So I wanna show you kind of what to look for here. I'm gonna kind of hold this up close to the camera. So as you can kind of see, it's kind of worn down here along the bottom. The plastic is actually kind of broken away. You can see the color, this green color is kind of flaking off a little bit as well. You can also see some kind of caked on debris here in the filters itself. The filter itself is not too bad, but there is this kind of caked on scale buildup. I now have a water softener system, but I didn't have that when I first put this filter in. So that's what that is. It's scale buildup, essentially. You can also see a lot of discoloration up here on the top. Anytime you see plastic erosion like that, essentially corroding plastic, just know that that plastic is going into the water and it's going to dirty up the water. It's going to muck up the water. It's going to create sediment that you're going to have to scoop out with a net. It could also get clogged and jammed in some of the equipment and shorten the lifespan of that equipment. And again, that one nests inside of this one. This one, you kind of see the same thing. You also see this band here. This is kind of a plastic band that goes around the center of it. That's pretty corroded looking as well and kind of wearing a little bit as well. You also see some scale buildup around that too. And then again, you see the discoloration here along the plastic parts like that. So again, anytime you see plastic corrosion, that's going into the water and you don't want that. This filter, looks very similar. You see, again, the plastic discoloration like that. The filter itself, these paper pleats are actually in pretty good shape. And you do see some discoloration around here at the top. This one, I don't see as much of the plastic kind of breaking off a little bit along this line here. But again, I have noticed blue plastic pieces floating in my water, and that's no doubt coming from these filters. So I don't want that. So it is about time to replace these. For me, it's been about 18 months since the last time I put these in place. And if you're on top of your water chemistry, in other words, balancing the water, the pH, the alkalinity, the sanitizer levels, shocking it once a week. If you're on top of that and you're on top of the filter maintenance, in other words, rinsing these off at the kitchen sink with a sprayer and some warm water about every three weeks, and then doing a deep chemical soak of these. I use hot water and the Spa Depot Power Soak product. I soak mine for one hour that way about every three months. If you're doing all of that pretty consistently, you can get, I would say, anywhere from 18 to 24 months of life out of your filters. If you're not really super on top of that, I would start to check for these things on the filters at about the 12 month mark. And just know that if you're seeing that at 12 months, it's probably time to replace it. So now I've got the new filters here. One one thing that I notice is that this particular filter set is no longer made by the company that makes them. And that's a little unfortunate for me. So I'm having to improvise a little bit. I was able to find this housing, but not the insert. So for the moment, I'm gonna reuse this insert until I can find a replacement for it. But what I do notice is that every time I go to look on Amazon, because it's been about 18 months since the previous purchase, I often have to research because the links that I had bookmarked no longer work. Just kind of an unfortunate side effect. I do typically find that Amazon has a better product 
price than most places online and definitely a better price than buying directly from your manufacturer. The other thing that I noticed with this filter compared to this one, this one's a lot heavier. Now, it did just come out of my hot tub, so no doubt the paper plates are soaked with water a little bit, but this one is significantly lighter, I can tell, just from the feel of it. It does look about the same, though, and the dimensions are indeed the same, but it is lighter, so may not last as long. I don't know yet. We'll find out in about a year, but I'm going to put this new one in along with this new housing, and again, I'm going to reuse this insert until I can find a replacement for this part. I wasn't able to find that upon first looking. And I did go to several different websites to do that. Anyway, this is kind of a short video. I just kind of wanted to show you what to look for in your hot tub and on your hot tub filters so that you knew when it was time to replace them and what you can do to extend the life from anywhere from 12 months to 18 months, maybe even up to 24 months if you're really super diligent about your water chemistry and your filter maintenance. I hope this video helps you and I'll see you in the next one.